Now let's move on to paired end. So the paired end, let's just create another directory. Make the paired end. Let's use this. Let's seed it to it. So that we separate that from your other files. Okay, so do an ls is empty, that's what we want so that we separate them. So with paired end, there are two options you can choose from. You have the split files and the split tray. Let's look at the options here first. So let's type faster kill down. So you have some information here. So the option you have to use either this or that. So the split files here means that your roots have made pairs. So if you know your roots have made pairs, then you use this option here. If some of your roots do not have made pairs, then use the split tray so that those without made pairs will also be written to a different file. So that is how you do it. But for this tutorial, I'll be using this option here. So take note of that. Let's clear the screen first. And then we can continue. So, so we use prefetch. So say prefetch, and then we specify the session ID. So this is my session ID, and then I run it. Please know that the time taken to download depends on the file size as well. And prefetch will also take some space as well. So we have it done, it's downloaded. So let's do an ls and you'll find the file here. So ls into it and you have your SRA file. So now we use faster kill dump to extract. So you see faster kill dump. We type our accession ID. We use our option split files. You can also add another option here called skip technical. I mean, you, you just have to read about the options and look at the ones which are appropriate for you. So just look on the wiki page and then you run it. So it's done. Do an ls and you'll find your risk there. You have read one, read two. That's um, the first your files that we have. Extracted. So this is how we do it with paired and if all your reads have made pairs.